Good morning everybody, it's Dr. Brace here. Welcome to Facial Plastics Friday. Uh, today I'm gonna to be talking about neck lifts and specifically the anterior neck. Now this is a question we get a lot um, of inquiries about and this could be from someone in their 20s up until somebody in their 70s, 80s. And not all neck lifts are the same. They're not all created equal. So I wanted to kind of break down how I approach uh, the anterior neck uh, in this edition of Facial Plastics Friday. So. The first thing we'll start with is somebody who's young. And so someone who's young who feels like they have a lot of um, extra fullness in here, not sagging skin, but fullness, um, there's a couple different options. Uh, if it's just fat that's underneath the skin, the subcutaneous fat, then Belkyra or liposuction with Profound is uh, probably the best thing to do there because you can remove that subcutaneous fat and tighten the skin up and get some nice improvements. And I'll show a picture of me, somebody who, you know, in their mid thirties, I had this done last year. You can see the kind of tightness I got on these photos with a deep mode, sorry not deep mode, sub-Q mode on the Profound to kind of destroy some fat and then the dermal mode to uh, increase skin tightness. If the fullness that you have here is more anatomical fat from the deeper layers. And we have to do something that's called um, a submentoplasty or a deep neck lift, some people call it, or an anterior neck lift. And what that entails is making an incision right here, lifting the skin up, removing some of the subcutaneous fat if it's an issue, but really involves contouring the platysma muscle, which is this guy here when you flex your neck, the deep fat pad, which lives underneath the platysma muscle, some of the digastric muscles sometimes, which come from your chin to your hyoid bone, then up to your mastoid, and they can give fullness in here, and sometimes the submandibular gland. And so a deep neck lift or a submentoplasty would contour those tissues, would remove some of them, would stitch some of them together to give you a nice sharp neckline. And I'll show a photo of what that looks like here in a young woman who had exactly that done. This involved a little bit of subcutaneous fat removal, a little bit of platysmal work, removal of the deep fat, and then anchoring everything to the hyoid bone to give her a nice sharp neckline. When we get more into the aging neck, all those structures can still be a problem, but now we get into looseness of the platysma muscle and looseness of skin. And so for a man who has a turkey waddle hanging skin, an anterior neck lift called a Grecian urn lift puts an incision here, it comes down to about your Adam's apple to there, and that skin is directly excised. And that's for someone who does not want to have a traditional facelift wants a quick recovery, but it comes at the cost of having a scar here, which usually heals very well, especially if you have a lot of whiskers, it hides really well. I don't really like doing that for women because you're not gonna be able to hide the scar. A woman who has a bit of a turkey neck, but has a pretty good uh, mid-face volume and cheeks and doesn't really need the mid-face lifted, but wants the jowl and the neck lifted, that is called a bunch of different things. It can be called a lower face lift or a neck lift. Um, there's lots of different names out there, but really what that involves is a short scar around the ear and lifting this area to give the neckline more definition and to sharpen the uh, loose skin and to tighten the muscle in the neck. And so a lower face lift uh, can be combined with a deep neck lift or an, a submentoplasty, and that can give you the most definition if you need to remove skin, if you need to tighten muscle, but you also need to remove fat to contour the neck. If the cheeks are sagging, there's a deep nasal labial fold, there's a jowl, there's loose skin and loose platysma. Then you're talking a full facelift where you're lifting kind of everything up. There is no device in the world that will give you this and there is no filler in the world that will give you this. So a lot of people come in and say, I don't want a facelift, I just want some filler here to do this. And the answer is we can't do that. Filler is mass, mass is pulled by gravity. You can put filler in here and expand the face, but to, to tighten things that much, you're gonna have so much filler in there that you're gonna look funny. And so filler is a camouflaging agent, but surgery can correct things. And so if you're young and you don't like your neck uh, because of the, the kind of straightness of it, the obtuseness of it, the lack of a cervical mental angle, your profile looks full, then a submentoplasty is probably what's needed. If you're older and you have loose skin, loose muscle and fullness there, a submentoplasty with a lower facelift, if you have full or dropping cheeks, jowl, fullness in your neck, then a full facelift is probably what needs to be done. So send us your questions about neck lifts. It's actually the most popular procedure being um, searched right now on the internet. Uh, I've certainly seen an 
increase uh, in inquiries for this and we have a lot of them booked in coming the new year um, and happy to answer questions if you have any to see if it's the right procedure for you. Have a great weekend everybody. Bye-bye.